Hey guys, so for this video in particular, I want to showcase um, pretty much a very quick and easy way to spin up containers very fast using a Docker container. So in this video, I will showcase how to create a Docker container in Proxmox and how to take that container that has Docker inside of it and duplicate it over and over and over to where you can make multiple small containers all showcasing Docker that can run different um, environments on these containers. So stay tuned and let's hop over to the computer, see what we can do. Alrighty, so now that we're over here on the computer, I'm going to go ahead and show you something really cool that I found extremely helpful. So, as you can notice over here, I do have a bunch of containers running all of my services, and I have one container right here that is called Docker. So, on Proxmox, if I want to spin up a new Docker container instance, which is very lightweight and very quick to do, I can easily just right click Docker, hit clone. I'm going to change my mode to a full clone and I can just name it whatever I'm working on at the instance. So I can just go ahead and name this test, go ahead and hit clone. Okay, so now that test has been created, you're just going to click over here, click on start. And if we go over to the console, you're going to go ahead and just do a root. Go ahead and input your password. And from here, we're going to just go ahead and do a docker run hello world. Go ahead and press enter. And you can see there, hello from docker. Wow, this is garbage. You actually like this? Keep reading. <gasps> so this is a docker container that I can clone as many times as I like and spin up instances very fast. So now I'm going to show you how to create this docker con this docker template container. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and create a new container. We're going to go ahead and just call this docker test and we're going to go ahead and give it a password go ahead and press next. The template we will use is Ubuntu 2110. Go ahead and press next. You can go ahead and leave these all at the default. For network, go ahead and use DHCP. And for the DNS, um, just to be safe, we will change this. We're gonna go ahead and use Google's DNS. So it's 8.8.8 .8 and then 8.8.4.4. .4. Go ahead and press next. And we will go ahead and hit start after created and finish. So now that this is all spun up, you're going to go ahead and just do a root password. And I will show you an example that Docker is not running yet. So we're just going to go ahead and do a Docker run hello world. And you can see there that the command um, run it is not working. I need the sudo apt update to populate it. So the Docker command is also not found. So what we're going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and run through some simple commands. Um, all these commands will be listed down below. But first command we're going to go ahead and do is um, we're actually let's go ahead and actually run an update first before we do anything. So we can just do a sudo apt update, string together a sudo apt upgrade, put in the dash y, and let that update really quick. Okay, so this is one error that I have come across a lot where the repository doesn't work. Um, my simple suggestion to do this, I will also put this down below in this description, is you're going to go ahead and do a make directory solution, and go ahead and create that. You're going to go into solution and we're going to go ahead and cat that and we will go ahead and add these files in there you 
go. Now that that is all added, we will go ahead and remove this one. Remove the sources list. Oops. And we will go ahead and copy this. There you go. So now we should be able to run the command we just ran earlier right here. And there you go. Now you can see it's updating. All right, so now that your container is all up to date, we're gonna go ahead and run the first Docker command, which is just basically gonna be an, an install of different applications like certificates, curl, GNUPG, LSB release. Go ahead and press enter. Righty, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and make a new directory called keyrings. And we're going to go ahead and curl this. Okay, so now you can see I came into a speed bump where it says I do not have curl. So to do this, we can just run a sudo apt install curl. Let that install really quick. Alrighty, so now we can go ahead and run that curl command one more time. So now you can see here the next issue we're running into is the sudo prompt. It basically doesn't like the fact that we're using sudo. So we can actually just come in here and just go ahead and take out sudo. So now it's saying that GPG is not installed. So we're going to go ahead and run that too sudo apt install gpg let that install and one more time there you go so now everything has been installed correctly right there so now we're just going to go ahead and run an echo command paste the echo command in there now we are going to go ahead and run the sudo apt-get update. All right, now that that's done, we're going to run the most important line, which is sudo apt-get install docker ce, docker ce cli, container.io, and docker compose plugin. Go ahead and press enter. You're going to go ahead and press Y because we didn't put in the dash Y at the end of that command. All right, so now that that is all done, we're going to go ahead and do a sudo service docker start. And we're going to go ahead and make sure it runs by just doing a simple docker run hello world. So you can see here that it is unable to find hello world latest locally, but it is going to go ahead and pull it. And now you can see hello from Docker. So you can also go ahead and do a Docker PS to see your running services. And you can see here we have no current running services. But now I'm going to show you the best part of this. <laughs> Finally! So now that your container is all completely set up, we can go ahead and clear the terminal. What we're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and shut it down. So now you can see here that the Docker test is shut down completely. Go ahead and do the same process. More. Convert to template. Yes. And now you can see over here on the side, you now have 107 Docker test. But if you would like, you can name it like I did as Docker. And anytime you want to duplicate this, just do as I showed earlier, just right click and hit clone. You're going to go ahead and do a full clone and name it whatever you're working on at that moment. So from here on, majority of my videos where I do demonstrate how to do different services, I will be using this method. So I just want to thank everybody for watching and remember, like, comment, subscribe and have a great day.